The open ocean is one of the most pristine environments on the planet. The water's clean, it's not impacted by you know, land-based activities, so it results in a very clean fish. I'm Brian O'Hanlon, the founder of Open Blue Sea Farms. We're the largest open ocean farm in the world. Part of the idea of open ocean farming is that we can move the farms closer to major infrastructure and major markets. There's a number of reasons why we came to Panama. Transportation infrastructure is unmatched. The Panama Canal is a, a backbone for this economy here. So it allows us to bring in raw materials very efficiently and export finished products to the markets. We're about seven and a half to eight miles out in the ocean. It literally almost looks like farmland where you have these, these large mooring grid structures which run literally a kilometer from end to end and with the different pens growing fish in, inside. It's a unique site because there are probably no place in the world where farms are located over the horizon in a completely open environment. It's almost like a thriving little town out there. Boats moving around, different activities going on. Right now we can harvest about, about 20 to 25 tons uh, in a one, one harvest. Still kind of labor intensive, but we're working right now on trying to streamline and, and, and slowly automate the whole process. It looks crude. We're kind of inventing this stuff as we go. <laughs> the great thing about farming in the oceans is three-dimensional. Unlike farming crops on land, you know, where you have two-dimensional farming, we're not only going on a two-dimensional plane, but we're going deep. So you can imagine the potential for productivity in the oceans just far exceeds what we can do on land. I think opening up the, the oceans to new farming frontiers, if you want to call it, for me, fish is really the first step. We had the opportunity to, to work with Cobia, and it was, it was pretty incredible to see the Cobia just you know, literally grow before your eyes. I mean, you, from morning to evening, you, know, you, you could see growth in the fish. We're really just at uh, the tip of the spear with what, where we think we can go with Cobia. You know, we do expect to, to diversify geographically with Cobia in the future. I view the open ocean as this huge opportunity in the future, in the coming decades, you know, and it's, it's not going to be a matter of years, it's going to be a matter of decades that we open up the oceans and we farm the oceans as we farm the land.